doing a little test of a sunflower strap and I've already kind of worked this side I got this part to go so this is practice and I'm on the beveling stage so I thought I'd share that with you here I have a steep beveler and remember you want the flat face towards what you want to stand up so that the smashing occurs on the things you want to lie down and try to keep the flat face towards you so you can see where it is just move it little bits it's really very little reason to get in a big hurry right here you're going to be beveling a long time on most projects at least the projects i do it seems like i bevel a lot and so because this one's so wide i just try to do the bigger longer curves definitely the long straight stretches and once i get into a pattern like this i don't usually pay attention to oh i need to do all the background stuff first and then come do the foreground or all the foreground then the background i just sort of move along doing what i can before i have to move my piece so that I can see. And now I can't do these ones because clearly I can't see, so I'm going to turn this around and do what I can see before I move. So you might see how it's getting dark down in there. That's not because the leather has layers of color. That's the burnish from the moisture inside. So I just try to hit it with the same pressure, with the same pound of force. Now I'm kind of getting where I can't see again. So I'm just going to turn this upside down, which if I were doing the full strap, not this practice strap, I would probably wait to do the turn until I had made it down the whole strap. Probably, but maybe not. Just kind of depends on how you feel. And you might see... See how it looks just a little choppy? See those little lines? That's why sometimes you'll see me go back over something again, just to try to smooth that out. And then this won't fit here to do anything. There's gaps, so I'll use a smaller one later. But while this one's in my hand, I'm gonna just try to go along and use it in all the places. These are going to start getting close together. Ooh, Memphis has a bone. You might be able to hear her chewing on her bone. about that and then I would abandon that one and I'd go to my smallest one because the smallest one is going to fit easily here and to do that little tiny bit so that's what I would do next that's that's some beveling <laughs>